hey guys welcome back to my channel today I will be showing you how to make a drink made from these beautiful hibiscus flowers popularly called Zobo this is how the leaf looks it's just a dry red hibiscus leaf and it's very easy to prepare so these are the only ingredients I'm going to need to prepare this drink I have my zobo leaves some ginger and um, sweeteners so I'll be using pineapple flavor and berries you can mix yours in any combination you want but these are the two I choose to use So first of all, we're going to start by washing the leaves, washing the flowers rather, and I'm going to wash them about three times because sometimes you get a lot of sand from the leaves, so we're going to wash it very well. Meanwhile, Zobo is a very healthy and beneficial drink that contains vitamin A for healthy eyes. It boosts your immune system so you are you are almost free from a lot of diseases it um, helps to fight high blood pressure so if you have low blood pressure issues Zobo may not be very good for you but high blood pressure issues it helps to bring it down it has high calcium content so it strengthens the bones another thing is that it helps to fight diabetes especially if you're not using a sweetener if you're taking it for diabetic purposes you should avoid using the sweetener or sugar you can even use honey instead you can replace that with honey and it helps with the digestive system relieves constipation and boosts your metabolism so if you're looking to lose some weight it would help with that you can see the sand at the bottom of the bowl that's why we need to wash and wash again but you must be careful not to wash too much so you don't take off too much of the too much of the color so that's the water i'm going to use to boil it now over here i'm slicing my ginger in very slim size like in very slim slices since we're going to strain it we don't need to remove the back and I'll just put it in the pot so right here I just have zobo water and my ginger now I'll leave it to boil so it has boiled for some minutes you see how dark it is very dark wine color see how dark it is so I believe it's ready now. So I'm going to strain it. Must be very careful. And when you are you doing when you're making zobo, you should try not to use bright colored bowls because it leaves permanent stains on plastics. That's why I'm using my black bowls. I strain it again. Or the leaves that fell inside and then I use a smaller strainer now this will take off the sand completely if we had any sand in it this will take off the smaller particles
have it a bowl of zobo now dispense it into containers the way you want to for me i would use i would put mine in a jug but i still have a lot to store and right now it is still too sweet so whenever i want to drink it i would dilute it with some water You can also dispense in small bottles so whenever you feel like you can just take one and drink so what I'm going to do is to fill this bottle halfway and top it with water so whenever I want to take it I don't need to um, add water just serve as it is Now you can store these in your refrigerator for as long as you want. I hope you guys try it out. It's a very lovely drink. You know, it's better to replace your carbonated drinks with this. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and drop a comment under this video. If there's something you would like to see, please let me know. If there's something you want me to prepare, Please let me know and I will make it for you guys to see. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.